All right, today we're gonna be doing something a little different. I just got some background footage. We didn't really use this race in this video, but we are going to be seeing how AI does or how the driving does when you have all the assists on and automatic throttle and everything. How it does in races in online lobbies. So this is just a race earlier. And as you can see, he uh, does not do so well. When this guy crashed into him, he kind of just went straight on, so. But this is the first actual race here. We kind of did some cutting because we didn't want this to be super long. I don't know why this car does that, but in first gear, sometimes it just doesn't launch. The AI just goes and completely wipes out that car in front of us. I will admit I did help it out a little bit because sometimes it gets stuck behind some of the slower cars, um, such as the Mazdas. So uh, a couple times I did get it to go around after uh, I noticed it getting hung up a lot. So... But definitely kind of uh, just getting pushed around a lot at the beginning, pretty much just as any other Forza race would be like. And uh, it definitely does not care about the other cars, it will ram them off. So we end up bowling that uh, Mazda a little bit. And then that's the guy from earlier that we hit and uh, he's not too happy about that. I'm just getting slowed up by all this traffic, but luckily we we're about to take off around them, but unfortunately the AI kind of slows down. Luckily we didn't get slowed up there too much. But this is kind of where it getting slowed up a lot by the cars in front. We're able to get this really nice move made around them. I don't like the AI did a really good job there, surprisingly. As you can see, it just really loves sticking on this line and it just won't get close to this uh, Mazda. We probably would have made up a lot more time here if it would actually go around it. But then the Mustang comes and just slams into the back of me. And luckily the Mazda moved up to the high line and we were able to get around him pretty easily after that. Mazda comes and slams into us a little bit. And up on this corner the uh, the AI takes a little bit of a revenge on the, uh, the Mazda here. I guess not, not on this one. Alright, see, so this is the part where I try to help out the AI, and uh, obviously I'm not really used to using the key, my keyboard. So I end up hitting it a little bit and going up to the top. Um, but we're able to get around it pretty easily. Yeah, the AI really breaks. And here's where we uh, have the AI kind of go for a little revenge on that... Uh, Mazda it just spins them out for no reason. I don't know why they won't do that on like the long straights where it could easily pass them, but uh, we do help out the AI here again to kind of go around this uh, Mazda. Look at how it's, it breaks and just doesn't want to go around them at all. But luckily we we're around them and do pretty well there. A big ram at the end from uh, the McLaren there, but we end up getting eighth place with the AI, so it's kind of interesting that he did that well. And then this is the one where I thought he'd do, like the AI would do really well. It is the uh, touring cars, and it's a longer medium race, so put hard tires on. We're just going for a no stop on it. It is definitely pushing its way through the pack here. Definitely being a bully. Got missed by the guys that went wide in the, the AI just takes that guy out in the silver uh, silver Audi. He just pushes this uh, car off to the side as well. Yeah, pretty much what the AI is 
solid on like rails to the racing line. Which obviously that's kind of what it's there for is for AI and whatnot. But we end up pulling in pretty well on the guy in front here. Guy behind goes on the inside. And some cars off to the left there, so we get another position all the way all the way up into eleventh already. This guy goes around to the inside again. It's a little bit. Surprisingly, the AI is still doing pretty good here. The AI pushes that guy off to this <laughs> outside there. It's kind of surprising how much she gets away, or the AI gets away with for like contact. This uh, silver car, and then we got these guys up here. This is what's really slowed us down. We would have uh, probably been a lot better position at the end of the race if we didn't get stuck behind all these guys. And now uh, the AI is still kind of bowling the guy. It just pushes him out into the grass, both of them. And then the silver car gets a little loose here, and AI just rams right through it. Some guys in the dust a little bit. We got another car that gets loose and gets pushed off the side. And we have this car comes up and he just stops in front of us and slows us down a lot there too. So a couple times where the uh, the assists here have slowed us down significantly. And um, another guy off in the gravel here. And luckily we're able to kind of keep this. We got the white car that's kind of pushing to get around us here. He starts just bashing into our bumper and wants to get around a bit. He says sorry, but I think that's just because he doesn't want us to ram him at the end of this long straight. Obviously, we wouldn't do that with just the AI, so he wouldn't even get close to his bag over. But definitely wanted to push around us here. And then another group here just get into a scuffle with this uh, alleged GM guy. And he is constantly having issues with other cars. Um, luckily, we were able to get around that car before the AI would try to slow us down or the assist try to slow us down. Coming up to lap number five here, and so some next lap is when people are gonna start pitting there. I got one guy in the pits there. The guy up in the grass and like this is where I kind of took over. I did press the, the throttle button there because I did not want the AI to once again stop the exact same car that did previously so um, but after everyone goes in the pits this is the beginning of lap six we are into fourth place so we are doing pretty well so far we're doing absolutely nothing Except for hitting the W key like once or twice. And we got a guy on the mediums behind us here. He's obviously going to be a lot quicker. Um, but what he is not is patient. So. Kind of just pushes us all the way. Fair enough. Gets around us pretty easily. Lap number nine here. 
beginning of the final lap. And we are starting to catch on the LGM guy that we had a couple issues with the earlier in the race. And he goes a little wide here. And uh, I am kind of helping out the AI here because I know he's going to just try to slow down for this guy. Luckily, we were able to get around the inside and uh, press the gas there for the AI a little bit to help him get around. But at the end of the last lap, we are able to hold off for fourth place. And that, that was all the assists. Having all the assists on, it it made it 14 places, which is pretty impressive for doing pretty much nothing. Um, I would say, like, it's actually really, really good for, like, the long haul races. For anything that's, like, a medium distance race. Um, because it doesn't push it really hard. It keeps tire wear to the minimum. So, I mean, definitely give it a try on some of like, the longer races. It could actually help you out a lot. I mean, I'm probably not going to use it, it's not really fun to do, but if you're looking to grind out some levels or something, it's uh, definitely an interesting way to do it. Well, thanks for watching, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video. Thanks again for watching.